Hello again and welcome to Vill Diary number two. Today's video is all about the um, rear subframe. This is a, an E46 and like most E46s, at some point the rear subframe mounts will crack. Um, so this video is just me fixing those cracks and adding a little bit more strength into the vehicle. Hope it's um, informative and of some use. Um, so here we go. Before I uh, go to the rear cage, I want to make sure it was done properly. So I've cut this panel out just to give me visibility from the top out by the cracks. Well, and they're not, they're not too bad. There's one which is just starting to travel there, um, but other than that, not too bad. So I've tried to flatten the panel as much as I can and cleaned out some of the areas. So I'll go over weld those and uh, grind them flat. So in essence, to, there's two things. One, I wanted to fix the cracks and two, I wanted to add some strength. So um, what I did was I, um, from the bottom, drilled up, in essence, through this panel. So I, I can't remember the size of the, of the tube I used, but basically I used a, a tube which was the outside diameter of the hole, but the inside diameter, I think it was a six mil drill bit, which allowed me to drill up um, and find the center point without actually damaging the it. So you see, once I had the center point drilled up, the six mil drill bit, I then drilled down from the, from the top to enlarge the hole. Then I just used a um, 10 12 tap to come up and just clean the threads and, and pop up from the top. Then I got some longer longer bolts. Um, so obviously, the standard ones are too short, they were too short, so I've got the longer ones. I built up um, a strengthening bar to hold these two taut. And I was going to grab that so I can show you that. I did the same thing back here with the front subframe mounting points, and I'll show you those in a second. Let's grab that bar. Right. Very simple, just some box section steel, I think it's 20mm, and some 3mm plate. So again, I've got some sections to put in here just to make up <coughs> and I'll weld in all around here and that'll be that. And I'll I've got some weld nuts that I'll weld to this plate so that'll be all nice and firm. So all these front subframe mounting points kind of same deal as the rear. Um hole saw I'm actually scratch that. Start from the bottom, same deal, drilled up. Just at the center point, then use that center point as the guide for the hole saw. Draw top down, <coughs> clean up the hole, and just built this little notched section. Dropped it in, rolled around, and then longer bolts, and that's that. Okay, so it's gonna start by walking you around. Thought we'd start underneath. So in terms of where we're at, the rear subframe's back in now. Um, it's all been polybushed. Also, all the subframe mounts have been reinforced from the bottom and the top. I'll explain the top later. Um, in terms of reinforcements, so let's just so I can show you. The trailing arm, rear trailing arm mounts have been reinforced, three mil plate and the rear subframe mounts have also been reinforced with 3mm plate front and rear so there's these and these as well uh, what else 
So inner arches have been cut away, um, a bit more clearance on lock. Just in essence, this part's been cut. Just forward of the front struts. Uh, the engine bay has been cleaned and degreased ready for painting. The intention is to use some white POR15. Used it before, seems to be quite good and hard wearing, um, so I thought I'd give it a go again. Um, I don't think there's anything else to describe at the front that's been done. No, I don't think so. Right, so the interior. It's been all fully stripped out, um, all the sound deadening, all the wiring, um, the entire loom has been removed. There's a safety devices cage going in, um, so all the feet have been welded. And that's ready to go back in once it's all been painted. Um, all the glass has been removed. I'm going to use Perspex um, or Lexan uh, for the rear quarter windows and the rear glass. I need to replace the front windscreen because I smashed that trialing the roll cage however to be honest with you in hindsight it was a lot easier to get the cage in and out and do a few other bits and pieces with no windscreen so in hindsight um i would have smashed it from the very beginning um what else uh obviously the subframe as i mentioned before has been um reinforced to the bottom with female plate i also created a reinforcement for the front um front and rear with this bar which i've welded in which basically picks up the two subframe points and I've used longer subframe bolts to come up through the floor so in essence this bar is now welded into the car and it just supports the two subframe mounts at the top similar situation with the front subframe mounts let's just try and get a bit of view similar deal where I've just cut away these little inserts and welded in some steel tube and profiled it and then I've got a bar which comes across and picks up from these two points here Another view of the feet for the roll cage that were welded in there and primed all of the paint. Same deal with the engine bay, going to use some white uh, POR15 and just brush it on. So we will see how that turns out. And that's kind of it from where we are today. So again, it's kind of just, in summary, been um, fully stripped, um, a bit of strengthening applied, roll cage prepped and ready to go in. And now clean, degreased, and ready for paint. So I'll probably, then you know, I imagine the next video is going to be um, finishing off a little bit of the sanding and then starting painting. All right. See you in a bit. Right, that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe, like, and add any comments down below. And I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.